casual low carb. So, yun po yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Masustansya or nutrient dense, ibig sabihin, eto ay mayaman sa vitamins, minerals, at mga essential nutrients na kailangan natin para mabuhay, para mag-function normally yung ating cells. So, at the same time, tayo ay magluluto. So, it is another cooking show. Okay? Actually, hindi naman ito sobrang cooking show talaga. Ito lang yung kakainin ko ngayon. And at the same time, while doing so, I will discuss with you kung ano yung nutrient-dense or masustansyang low-carb as compared sa low-carb na wala talagang gaanong maraming sustansya. So, as basic, alam natin kung ano yung isa sa mga pagkaing mayaman sa nutrients, vitamins and minerals. Of course, nandun yung gulay. Okay? So, vegetables, given na yan. As of this point, kailangan kong i-differentiate between nutrient-dense na regular food and nutrient-dense na low-carb. So, perfect example would be fruits and vegetables. Okay? So, fruits and vegetables, pareho silang mataas sa vitamins and minerals. Pero yung pagkakaiba, fruits, mataas din sa fructose, mataas sa sugar, mataas sa glucose. So, yung net carbohydrates niya, mataas pa din. So, kapag parating mataas yan, it can lead to increase in your blood sugar. Tataas po yung inyong blood sugar and eventually, tataas rin po yung inyong insulin. Hello to 1,000 live viewers ngayon. Nakaka one minute pa lang tayo, 1,000 agad. So, thank you so much. So, yung ating fruits, mataas nga sa vitamins and minerals, pero yung kanyang carbohydrate content at yung impact niya sa ating blood sugar and also the fruits, yung impact ng fruit sa ating atay because of fructose when taken too much pwede itong maging contributory factor eto mismo yung risk factor kung bakit merong fatty liver non-alcoholic fatty liver that's why generally yung fructose we try to avoid and kung gusto nyo maging mataas yung inyong intake sa vitamins and minerals na nutrients then you go for vegetables kasi yung gulay pareho lang sila ng mga fruits na maraming vitamins and minerals so the more colorful the vegetables the better but kailangan natin i-emphasize na yung mga nakasanayan nating vegetables are actually hindi talaga vegetables by definition yung vegetables supposedly yun yung mga green leaves at mga tumutubo some of the vegetables that we know we thought are vegetables okay as gulay are actually hindi vegetables actually ano sila prutas kaya nga lang uh, we tend to eat them together with other vegetables at hindi siya matamis, kaya akala natin vegetable siya. Perfect example would be kalabasa. Okay? Noon, akala ko rin, nilabel ko lang sila lahat as kalabasa. But to be politically correct about it, yung kalabasa actually, isa siyang bunga. It's a fruit. That's also the reason why yung kalabasa natin is also not part ng ating safe list kasi mataas ito sa starch okay? mataas ito sa starch component and then madali din itong ma-overeat and consumed as glucose pa din kapag na-breakdown na and also if you choose vegetables yun yung isipin nyo yung mga vegetables na matubig o di kaya ma-fiber, mataas sa fiber para yung kanyang carbohydrate content is mababa pa din so eto sinend ng aking Kaibigan, so these are the vegetables na mostly low carb. So random picture lang to ha, and then nakita ko lang na, uy, low carb halos lahat ng nandito. So nandyan yung uh, peppers, o yung sili espada, o yung ano nga ba to? Um, anong nilagay? Green peppers, green bell peppers, and then merong parang cucumber ba to? O zucchini, and then merong eggplant. And then, ibang klaseng eggplant. And then, meron ding kamatis. And then, meron ding orange na kamatis dyan. And then, cauliflower. And then, okra. And also, ampalaya. And also, ano pa dito? Uh, meron ding, meron ding uh, cabbage. So, these are good alternatives. Okay? So, yung upo. Okay? Yung mga upo. Mga bottle gourd. Bitter gourd. Okay? So, pwedeng-pwede yan sa low carb. So, these are actually nutrient-dense low carb. Okay? And, of course, ma yung iba dito, like carrots. Carrots are root crops. Okay? So, yung root crops, mataas din siya sa starch. So, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi ka nakakain talaga ng carrots like that. Hindi naman. But, you have to take them in caution. Ibig sabihin, if hindi ka pa fully healed, 
and you are still trying to lower down, pinapababa mo pa yung iyong blood sugar, at pinapababa mo pa yung iyong insulin level sa katawan, then you can benefit from lowering your intake of root crops, patatas, kamote, and also yung carrots, and most of the root crops talaga. Kakaunti lang yung root crops na low carb. So, to make it simple, avoid muna. And of course, the beans, okay? If pure beans, pure beans, medyo starchy yun. Yung, yung most beans. But if kasama naman yung whole stock, yung whole na pea pod, yung kanyang parang balat, then that can be part of low carb in moderation pa din. Okay? Munggo. Munggo is starchy. Okay? And kapag sprout naman, munggo sprout, it is somewhat considered as low carb, pero dapat kakaunti lang. Hindi talaga marami. So, quantity still matter. Kasi hindi naman yan lahat absent talaga, wala talagang carbohydrates. Meron pa rin carbohydrates yan. So, yung vegetables muna, isa siya sa pinaka-importante or pinaka-common source of a nutrient-dense food, no? Na when it comes to vitamins and minerals, of course, sa pang taong nagpa-practice naman ng carnivore o di kaya halos meat lahat na ayaw na kumain ng vegetables, hindi natin yan mapipilit din because sa kanila, it's not... It's not helpful kasi nga meron din namang ibang tao na very sensitive sa mga phytotoxins sa mga vegetables. Ako personally gusto kong kumain ng vegetables pero hindi talaga ako ganoon ka tolerant. Nagbo-bloat ako kapag kumain ako ng vegetables. Kaya ako feeling ko bloated ako ngayon kasi kumain ako ng vegetables the previous days, no? And that's why I am now sticking again to mostly meat kasi hindi talaga gumaganda yung pakiramdam ko when I eat a lot of vegetables. But of course, depende yan sa inyong own gut, okay? Depende rin sa inyong own microbiome. Kung kayo sanay na sanay sa vegetables and you are thriving, doing well with vegetables, then by all means, eat vegetables, okay? But choose vegetables that are low carb, okay? So, ngayon, pag-usapan natin ang other foods that are considered as nutrient-dense na low carb din. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung dinala sa akin ni Maming Kahap the other day, okay? So, eto yung dinala niya sa akin. And what I we have here would be, pakita ko lang sa inyo. So, of course, egg, okay? Egg is one of the most nutrient-dense food. Sabi nga nila, yung itlog daw, it's like a nature's multivitamin, okay? Multivitamins yung itlog. So, ang mga natatakot dyan sa kolesterol ng itlog, okay? So, per, per piece of egg, is uh, 5 gram of fats, okay? So, kung naka-low carb kayo, actually, mas mataas yung ating fat allowance na kakainin as compared sa naka-high carb. And sa mga naka-high carb naman, please don't ever eat high fats, okay? Or else you are causing or you are risking yourself of more complication. Kung ayaw nyo mag-life without rice at ayaw nyo pang mag-give up yung inyong carbs, pakinggan nyo yung inyong doktor na huwag kumain ng taba. Okay? Kasi delikado po yan. Deadly combination ang high carb and high fats. But high fat with low carb, then you can accommodate. Parang ano no, medyo ano ba, merong atang nag, nagkakarpentero sa kabila. So, eto yung beef patty namin sa bahay. Eto yung staple namin. Okay? So, yung ginagawa namin, nagmimix kami, this one is considered as, for us, is really nutrient dense. Ground beef, mga dalawang kilong ground beef, and then isang kilong ground pork, and then isang kilong ground liver, atay. So, merong atay. So, nilagyan namin ng atay kasi yung atay is one of the most nutritious food sa mundo. Okay? It's especially beef liver. <clears throat> ruminant liver. Okay? So, eto yung at, merong atay ito. And personally, hindi talaga ako mahilig sa atay. Ayoko ng lasa ng atay. But I know it is very nutritious. Kaya yung ginawa namin, minix namin siya. Nag, nagpa, ano kami, nagpa, uh, ground pork, beef, and liver. Tapos, mixed with just salt and pepper. Okay? So, by ratio, yung isang importante na kailangan natin when low carb is salt. Okay? So, Per, usually, per kilo of meat, nilalagyan namin ng isang kutsarang salt. Okay? So, any salt. So, this one is just a uh, sample salt. So, regular sea salt or table salt, okay lang yan. And as much as you want liver, because we know that liver is very healthy, hindi rin kailangan kumain ng maraming marami. Okay? Just 100 grams or mga nasa 1.8 kilo, 100 to 125 grams of liver per week. Hindi per day, ha? 
per week, okay? Per week, isang ganyan lang, okay ka na. Solve ka na sa iyong most of your B vitamins, iron, and many other vitamins na nandyan sa liver. Okay? So, hindi kailangan maraming marami. Ayaw natin magkaroon ng hypervitaminosis. Okay? Everything, anything too much is hindi maganda. So, that's why we have this. Kasi, it's a balance of proteins coming from beef. Kasi yung beef natin sa Pilipinas, grass-fed. O, oh, di ba? Grass-fed yung beef natin sa Pilipinas. So, therefore, wala rin siyang masyadong taba. And since importante rin yung balance ng taba, we added a fatty pork here. So, pork belly, pork belly part. Okay? But if makakita kayo ng, ano, ng beef na live beef, belly cut din, then okay na din yon Okay? And also, we added liver sa ganito para mas maging masustansya siya. Mas punong-puno siya ng nutrients at hindi rin natin sobrang over it. So, konti, konti lang, no? Ang liit lang. So, ginagawa namin, hindi po kailangan ng binder. Hindi kailangan ng cornstarch, hindi kailangan ng itlog. Yung karne, didikit lang siya. Okay? Basta at walang kah halong kahit ano. Yung importante lang, pagdating sa bahay, while galing pa sa market, kakabili nyo pa lang, i-mix nyo na agad. So, 1 kilo of any meat, usually nilalagyan namin ng 1 tablespoon of equivalent salt. So, tatlo ito, and then hina-half cook namin, and then freeze or in the chiller. And then kapag gusto mo nang kumain, pwede ka lang kumuha. Pwede mong kainin as is kung gusto nyo ng rare, medium rare, or initin nyo lang ng sandali. So, again, nandito yung ating very powerful bread toaster. Kasi ito lang yung nandito sa atin. So, I will toast this. But also, my, my consultant, no one of our consultant, binigyan niya ako ng gift yesterday from passing because of, because of passing the board exam. So, pinadala niya ako ng lechong baka. Okay? So, meron yan. So, meron siyang sauce. Pero, hindi ko na siya gagamitin. Tingnan mo, oh. I'm sure this is, ano, ano ba to? Ah, uh, frozen meat, baka, heat baka sauce. I think, maraming sugar to. So, I will not use this. So, ano lang ako, diretso lang sa baka. Okay, let's see kung anong itsura ng ating lechong baka. And of course, after that, since I miss eating my may waffles, okay? Gagawa din tayo ng waffles. So, sa mga waffle recipe, kung gusto niyo ng waffle recipe, marami sa life without rice, okay? So, marami dyan. But what I use is this one, yung sa LCF Essentials, okay? Kasi yung mga waffles talaga, hindi sila ganun ka-nutrient dense. If you're only using just coconut flour, tapos tubig lang and kakaunting, for example, parat yung ginagamit is just all-purpose cream. So, it may not be very nutrient dense, but if you use a combination of uh, almond flour and then nalagyan nyo ng nutrients like this one, like this Ultimate Keto Pastry Mix sa LCS, LCF Essentials, meron itong whey protein, okay? May whey protein na siya. So, meron siyang whey protein isolate, okay? So, whey protein isolate, para tumaas naman yung kaniyang yung kaniyang protein component okay kasi kapag ganyan puro lang siya fiber so it is low carb but it is not nutrient dense so yun yung difference and to make our waffle more nutritious okay lalagyan natin of course ng itlog and also lalagyan natin ng butter so ininit ko na so this is butter kasi yung butter mas masustansya naman as compared to all purpose cream so butter is a good source of natural fats okay especially the good kind no at tangkilikin ang sariling atin but if you are abroad then just choose the ones that are somewhat alam niyo yung totoong butter walang halong mga kung ano anong oil walang halong margarine totoong butter talaga so i think nandito yung lechong baka Okay. Oh, so na ano na pala, parang na mince na ba? So ito, it's frozen. So this is lechong baka and this is considered as nutrient dense. Of all the meat sa lahat ng karne na meron tayo sa ating available na market, ruminants, okay? Choose ruminants o yung mga kumakain ng grass, okay? Alam niyo ba kung ano ibig sabihin ng ruminants? Okay? So ruminants is because of hindi kahit pa para sa atin halos pareho lang yung baboy at saka yung baka at saka yung mga kambing, pero actually iba yung kanilang digestive system. Okay? Yung mga baka at kambing at saka ano ba? <clears throat> Lamb and sheep 
these are ruminants. Yung ruminants, meron silang extra compartment sa kanilang chan. Ngumunguya, di ba? Parati lang silang ngumunguya. And actually, they ferment the food. They ferment the grass, no? Sa kanilang chan. And then, once it is fermented, it's actually producing fatty acids, small chain fatty acids. So, actually, kahit pa uh, full plant-based yung mga baka, but they're actually fueling on fatty acids th through fermentation. Pinaferment ng kanilang chan, ng kanilang gut bacteria, yung mga fiber na nasa, nasa grass, na nasa mga damuhan, na nasa mga damo, and they produce energy from that. But tayong mga tao, wala tayong enzyme. Okay? Wala tayong enzyme at wala tayong mga bacteria na kayang mag-convert mag ng ganon karaming grasses into short chain fatty acids na maka fuel ng lahat ng pangangailangan natin sa ating katawan but to some degree we can that is why we also advocate if you are tolerant to fiber to eat fiber rich na vegetables so gagawa na tayo ng ating mix ng ating mix para makakain na tayo so yun yung major difference ng ating nutrient dense low carb so to make it simple i'm not sure if nabasa nyo yung ano natin doon yung previous post natin the other time okay so ano lang uh, gulay at meat okay gulay at meat so right now i'm so happy na at least no ruminant yung nandito minsan lang kasi kasi puro baboy lang yung nandito always eh <coughs> And to pair it up with our, with our uh, somewhat like parang meron tayong bread or waffle recipe. Okay, so this one lang. So one tablespoon lang actually at isang itlog. So enough na yan. But malaki kasi yung waffle maker dito. This is our waffle maker. Okay, dito na naman. Uh, meron na, ilang beses ko na itong nagamit ha. So pinili ko ito kasi ito yung parang standard na mukha ng mga waffle waffle station na nasa mall before at tsaka mahilig kasi ako noon before so I did so that's why I'm doing a low carb counterpart so when you do this just be cautious na baka mag crave kayo if hindi pa kayo totally healed so maybe one, two, tatlo tatlong tablespoon lang okay and then tatlong itlog. And then, per tablespoon, kuha kayo ng tatlong, per tablespoon, one tablespoon then of butter. Okay? So, that's one, two, nilagay ko actually yung butter sa ating waffle maker para matunaw na siya. So, that's why tunang-tunaw na. It's dripping na. It's dripping. Okay? And then, tatlong itlog. And then, we will mix that and shout out sa aking in-laws and my brothers and sisters for providing me ng aking mga teal or turquoise na mga stuff. So, hindi na siya masyadong, ano, hindi na siya nakakainis pakinggan. Okay? Kasi alam ko last time gumagamit ako ng blender. Best talaga to use blender kasi mas even yung pagkakablend ng mga kahit kung anong gusto mong i-mix. And also, mas maganda yung kalalabasan. But, I, I know na nakakainis yun pakinggan. So, gagamit ako nito ngayon for you. Para hindi kayo maano. Para hindi masyadong, masyadong nakakainis na kung ano-anong pinaggagawa ko dito. So, this is just for me ha. Ako lang naman yung kakain dito. So, wag na kayong magreklamo kung wala akong gloves o wala akong hairnet o kung ano man. Okay? This is just for personal consumption. Okay? And since yung ating coconut flour, medyo ano na siya, meron na siyang tamis. So, no need actually for some sweetener. And also, yung sa ano naman, meron ng yung LCF essentials na ano, na pastry mix. Meron na siyang nakalagay na stevia erythritol. So, wala nang additional. So, just three, three ano lang, three ingredient. Okay? So, three ingredient, you have egg, butter, and the pastry mix. Kung wala naman kayo ng pastry mix, then you are free to make your own. Okay? Make your own. Marami naman. So, pad, marami namang available na ano dito. Maraming available na recipe dito sa ating Life Without Rice. If hindi pa kayo part ng Life Without Rice. But if you are watching this from Life Without Rice page, then I hope marami na kayong nagawang waffle and pancakes. Kung wala naman kayong pancake maker, or waffle maker. So, prito-prito lang. Sa bahay, nagpiprito lang din ako. Noon. And kapag wala lang, kapag feel ko lang, bakit kaya merong mga itim-itim ito? Saan galing ang mga itim-itim na ito? Oh. Sige. So, yun yun. So, that's the difference between nutrient-dense and 
and casual low carb. Yung kailangan nating iwasan, okay? Yung kailangan nating iwasan when we do low carb the initial part, no, is yung maghanap tayo ng mga wala sa atin. So ipapakita ko sa iyo, sa inyo yung anong usual na wala sa atin na parati na nakikita and we feel like kailangan natin 'yon, but actually hindi. So, eto, shirataki noodles, okay? Shirataki noodles, hindi natin to kailangan. So, eto pa rin yung pinakita ko last time. Hindi ko pa rin siya nagamit. So, there's only one left. And hindi talaga siya ganun ka-essential. Okay? So, huwag kayong ma-stress. Okay? Huwag kayong ma-stress kung wala kayo niyan o ano man. So, luto na tayo. Initin lang natin yan. Lagyan natin ng butter. Nang kakaunti ang ating waffle maker. Just to make sure. Although, hindi na ito magsistick. Okay? Hindi na siya magsistick kasi we already incorporated. So, ganyan, oh. Diba? And sa totoo lang, yung pagkain ng mga low-carb foods, it's a learned It's a learned taste, okay? Kasi noon, parang iba talaga yung lasa. But when you are already used to lasa ng almond flour at saka ng coconut flour, you will tend to like it. And ako ngayon, mas gusto ko na yung, yung low-carb talaga na taste, okay? So this is a blend of almond and coconut flour. Kasi kapag walang whey protein, it's just pure na ganyan lang. Mayaman siya sa fiber, but wala, kay, wala siyang masyadong added nutrients talaga. So, that's why uh, mas mabuti if you can incorporate a little. So, adding adding egg is already making it more nutritious. And adding butter is also making it more nutritious. Okay? So, make sure that you have good quality butter. Okay? And kung sasabihin naman ng iba, nako, mahal ng butter. Okay? So, wag kang mag-butter. Walang problema. Okay? Another alternative, kung ayaw nyo ng butter, I usually, I also use sometimes pure coconut oil. Yung cooking oil lang, na coconut oil, pwede rin yun. Okay? Enough na yon Enough na yon At least, it's something healthy. Kung hindi naman kayo aversive or okay lang sa inyo yung lasa ng virgin coconut oil, all the more. Okay lang. Pero, yung, yun nga lang, parang yung kinakain mo, parang hindi lang pancake, para lang siyang ano, para siyang uh, ano ba, bukupay, o parang macarons, yung ganon, ganong tingnan niya. Okay, so this is, mainit ba? Papakita ko sana. Okay, so this one, and then i-spread lang, and then mamaya, pakita ko sa inyo. So it's just one one, ano lang, one batch lang. Hindi na ako kakain ng maraming marami. Maggagawa ng maraming marami kasi medyo busy na ako the coming days and meron akong mga appointments and mostly with food appointments, food meeting. May mga aaten ng kung ano-ano. And then wala na akong time kumain dito. So, I'm actually just inuubos ko na lang yung stock ng mga pagkain dito. And after, baka hindi ko alam kung kailan ako bak makakabalik. Okay? And for those, for everyone who are in Manila, okay, yung meet and greet natin, we will schedule a meet and greet session in Manila on tentative date, November 28, okay, sa Grand Hyatt Hotel. Okay, so stay tuned lang sa ating announcement. If merong yung mga, especially yung mga nagtatanong kung pwede magpakonsulta o magpakita na kanilang laboratory or baka gusto nyo lang makichismisan lang. No? Chismis lang tayo doon. So we will have a an event, a meet and greet event. And there will there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one session. No? So it's a whole day event pero... For those who need a one-on-one -on -one session, we will allot a time. We will schedule. So, limited lang po ang, ang isi-schedule natin. So, try to, if you are already part of our masterclass, inform our admins your intention kung gusto nyong mag-attend nun. And then, for those naman na hindi pa pong part ng masterclass, okay lang din. Don't worry. Okay? Mas maganda nga na we can meet there because uh, you will have some incentive Baka magkaroon kayo ng discount sa masterclass natin. And also, November 8 is in Manila. And wala pang final schedule, but we will also be in Dubai. Nasa ano lang, 17, 18, 19, 20. Around that time. Okay? Magkakaroon din tayo ng meet and greet in Dubai. And yung last leg natin for November, for November would be on November 28th in Mactan. Okay? So, kung sino ang nasa Cebu, it's going to be very limited, ha? Nasa 20 to 40 slots lang. Okay? We are still looking for enough space talaga to accommodate up to 40. Okay? Pero kung hindi, baka nasa 20 slots lang tayo or we will divide it into batches to comply with the 
necessary na mga protocols then on social distancing and everything else. So, other foods that are considered as low-carb pero hindi masyadong nutritious. So, aside sa shirataki, what else do we have? Yung iba, uh, parating kumakain ng mga goodies. Okay? So, we are supportive ha. We support lahat ng mga keto and low-carb bakers. Sinusuportahan natin yan. Because hindi lang sila basta nagnenegosyo. But they're also helping in this advocacy to make it as normal as possible. Para maging parang normal na siya sa lahat they will know na this way of life is something na ginagawa talaga. And that alone is already raising awareness. Nagre-raise siya ng awareness sa mga tao that such thing exists. Kasi marami pa rin talaga yung wala pang idea. Kaya kung kayo ay naniniwala sa kapangyarihan ng low carb or proper nutrition for that matter into making our lives better, I encourage you to share this video at kahit kung ano pang mga videos natin dyan para ma-educate natin yung iba. So, iinitin ko na. Ito lang po yung ano ng bread toaster natin dito. So, lalagay tayo dyan, ng kakaunti dyan. And then, we will also put yung beef patty ni Maming. So, maybe isang beef patty lang. Okay? So, yan. So, ito yung lechong baka. Oh. Na-slice na siya. Okay? And then, some beef para meron tayong makain. Okay? And almost ready na rin yung ating pancake. At after niyan, kakain na tayo. So, yun. Uh, try to avoid yung mga wala, kung wala sa inyo. Yung best kind of low carb na pagkain is yung klase ng low carb that you can sustain. So, anong ibig sabihin ng low carb that you can sustain? So, ibig sabihin, it's the... It's the availability. Yung kaya ng, ng available sa inyong lugar, kaya ng bulsa nyo, kaya ng gusto nyo yung mga kinakain nyo, at hindi lang basta-basta ano, hindi lang basta-basta na sinusunod lang kasi nakita nyo lang. That's why we have our safe list, no? So, kung if you are watching this on Facebook or in YouTube, okay, try to go to Facebook and search hashtag JGC Rojo food list. Nandun yung food list natin. So, mostly, na-divide yun into safe, caution, and danger list. And, yun nga, yung nasa safe list natin are mostly nutrient dense. Okay? Mostly lang. Hindi naman lahat. Kasi, nandun, nandun yung iba doon, hindi naman talaga ganun kagrabe ka nutritious. But, mostly generally low carb. So, moderation is the key. And also, aside from moderation, variety. Okay? Kung pwede, iba't ibang klaseng meat yung kakainin ninyo. Iba't ibang klaseng mga condiments. So, sa condiments, naman, just salt and pepper is already okay, and salt is very important, yung iba na maraming nagsa side effect dyan, sabi, ano daw yung side effect kapag wala ng kanin actually wala naman, kung totoong tama yung pinalit mo sa kanin, anong tamang ipalit sa kanin, so yung nutrient dense food, so you can choose vegetables, or you can choose meat, okay so yun lang, kapag ginawa mo yun actually makikita mo na walang side effect. Wala kasi wala kaming nakakaranasan ng ganung side effect, especially that we know na we shouldn't be afraid. Okay? Wow, sobrang ganda ng aming waffles. Tingnan mo, papakita ko sa inyo kung gaano siya kaganda. Okay? Mainit so I have to get it. Okay? Ayun. Look. 'Di ba? Sobrang ganda. Yung maganda, yung gusto ko sa waffles, kasi ano tayo eh, bata tayo inside. Always <coughs> a kid inside. So, kapag aprobado sa mga pamangkin ko na pwede nilang baunin yung mga waffles and pancakes, so I know that is already a good kind. Okay? So, this one, nakakain nila. So, this is good. This is good. And iniinit na lang natin yung ating, ating beef and eggs. And after nyan, kakain na tayo. Okay? So, bango, and it's also soft. Oh, soft. Okay? So, yun lang. Do you have questions ba? Hindi ko kasi nakikita yung mga ano eh, yung mga questions. Anyway, we have a program to guide you if you're interested to get to know our programs. Send lang po ng message sa mga admins natin. Admin Mabi, Andrew, Alvin, Angela. We also have assist from... Uh, from Tin and Gracie Lou and also Michelle. So, sila yung mga admins natin. Pasensya na po if hindi kami makareply agad-agad. It's because we are taking our time talaga. We make sure that the process of enrollment sa masterclass is tama. And hindi pwedeng 
pagkatapos ma-enroll is pinapabayaan na. We do take care of our students even after they already joined the master class. So that's why priority talaga namin sila, especially yung naka-enroll na. At sa mga interested naman to enroll, kindly wait. In two to three days time, makaka-reply din po kami. So maraming salamat everybody. Thank you so much for always watching. Kakain na po ako. Cheers, bon appetit, maraming salamat, goodbye!